Hello guys, recently I received this email asking for a code review of a junior code. So I show all the email just so you would understand what emails I receive. Typically I don't do code reviews anymore as full projects because it takes a lot of time. So you would understand for me to review your code I have to read all of that clicking around, understanding what you do. So that may take an hour or two and I just don't have physically that much time even doing that for the money. I don't do that anymore, but I can review a simple part, simple like controller or routes or something like that, which would be much quicker. So that is exactly what I will do in this video. And I've chosen a simple controller from that project, API controller. This is the code of API controller called expense book controller. And I'll just run through that and give my advice for improvement. And if you have any more advice on top of mine, shoot in the comments below. Let's go. First, readability and spaces and code styling code standards like PSR. I guess that developer doesn't use the tool which automatically would reformat the code. In my PHP Storm, for example, I can call comment option L and it made nine formatting automatically, like for example, adding the space before and after equal sign. But also there are rules that are not so automated, which is spaces between and after lines. So I will just go through those and make changes as I would do that according to PSR standard, most of them. So that space isn't needed, that spaces aren't needed, space before return is good, and space before return is good here. Then what do we have here? This space is not needed totally. That formatting is debatable. I would probably do it like this under one line and then reformat. I'm not sure about PSR standard on this one, but that's how I would do that. Then what else show? That space is not needed. Update is cool. Destroy is cool. Share book, that space, and another case of first of cre first or create with reformatting. And then probably data needs to be here something like this. Okay, we're done with the formatting. Next, it uses the cache to remember the expense book for a specific user, which is okay, but I don't like inconsistency of request and request helper. It's okay to use request instead of auth, that's a personal preference, but this one is inconsistent. How I would do that, and it will still be shorter, but that's again personal preference, I would not use the request here, I would use a global helper called auth user ID and shorter would be auth ID like this. And here it would be auth ID and instead of request user ID would be auth ID. Remember ID is a function, not a field. Then we have shared expense books and then we have expense book where in. Why is that two queries to the database? Let's try to join them. In this case, I would probably use where has with eloquent expense book where has the relationship with a condition. Let's go to the expense book model. Does it have that relationship? No, it doesn't. So let's create public function. How do we call that expense book shared? Shared books, for example, return this has many expense book shared model class like this. And then we can do expense book where has shared books with function query like this. Let's delete it. Query where to user ID equals auth ID. Maybe that's not the best usage of shorter functions because it doesn't fully fit on one line. But anyway, you get the idea and then you don't need to have a second query to the database. Again, that's just one way of doing that. You can use join for the database, but it seems pretty okay to me. Let's go down that controller and see what else do we improve. Okay, I see at least a few things here. So there's validation, but we still use request all after validation. What I would do probably is move that into form request. I'm a big fan of using form request classes and then use request validated after that form request. So let's create, so let's create PHP artisan make request store book request, for example, like this. Then instead of request, we use store book request, then we cut and paste the validation rules into that storebook request, we change authorized to true, and then validation rules would be those. And then we don't need this validate here. And instead of request all here, we used request validated. And request all is actually even dangerous thing. 
have a separate video on that how someone may hack into your system and provide malicious data if you use request all which means you trust the request fully so please watch that video for the security stuff and now let's move on what do we have expense book create and then expense book shared which is fine except for variable names is stored expense book create doesn't return boolean stored or not it returns the object of that expense book so that is exactly what i would call it expense book and by the way variable names also under psr should be camel case but i'm not so strict about that anyway expense book and then you use expense book here because is stored is a boolean kind of is something is true or false and then you have id under that it's not a good practice so expense book id this is much more readable and then we check if it's stored or not yes it's one way of checking if it was successful or not and by the way here request validated also not request all but what i would do instead is try catch so try this sentence then catch any exception of php and on exception return response json with something went wrong something like this and in case of good scenario we return return this and in fact i wouldn't even return request validated i would return expense book because that's what we care about so we don't even need the variable here we need expense book returned here and that should be inside so expense book like this and probably that's how it structure the code like this not sure what do you think of course there are other ways to structure that or you can also catch for or you can also catch specific exceptions or provide some specific message that's your personal preference let's move on show method of the controller is almost okay it's just my personal preference to use route model binding instead of having find here you just type hint expense book expense book like this and then return expense book like this shorter isn't it and under the hood it performs the same find so we've shortened the show method then update it's almost the same changes as in the store method so i wouldn't do that again in this video what i would change is again route model binding for expense book here and then you don't need find here you can do immediately expense book update and then the same changes of form request and request validated and then try catch what else destroy destroy also can use route model binding like this and then you can call destroy like this delete and what else do we have share book so that is outside of a typical resource controller let's take a look what it does okay so someone provides an email to share the book with then if we find the user then we add that to expense book shared and if it already exists it returns the first so that is a great usage of eloquent first or create and then here also i would use try catch and totally would not return request all the question is what you need to return for that api endpoint that probably depends on how do you use that api the only thing i would change is i'm a personally big fan of so-called early returns so the structure of this controller c if success then we'll perform something otherwise we return the error response of user not found i'm a fan of returning this one earlier so let's cut and paste here with the condition if not user if not user then we return response user not found or if you don't care that much about specific message you can even use first or fail here and it would do the same thing just with more general message of model not found or something like that so i would use that not here and then we don't need any checks later we just focus on good scenario of the data being valid let's reformat it here and everything else seems to be okay to me so there we go i performed a short review of api controller which is not so short anyway it's around 10 minutes so you can imagine how much time for me it takes to perform the review of full projects 
So please, if you want me to review your code, you can email me pavelas at laravaldaily.com, but please specify the specific file or function or route or something where I could focus for 10 to 15 minutes and then perform the review for everyone on this channel to benefit. And if you want to thank me for these free reviews and of course learn more Laravel, you can pick something from my courses at laravaldaily.teachable.com. The best deal financially is to subscribe to yearly membership to get all of my courses and everything I will release for a year ahead, or you can pick individual courses by topic. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.